Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to match colors when you're doing composites. So in this picture here, uh, I already cut out the flowers and the ladybug. I wanted to give it a different background. So there, that is the new background that I picked. And I, you can tell already that it doesn't quite match. The colors aren't the same. It doesn't look like it belongs there. It looks like I just cut it out and stuck it there. So we're going to fix that and make it look better. So you can either come down here to adjustments or you can go up here to the top, click on layer, new adjustment layer, and go to gradient map. And we want to take this gradient map layer and drag it down and drop it into our cutout layer. There we go. Because we only want to change the colors of the flowers and the ladybug. So, all right, on the gradient map, over here, the reds are shadows, the greens are midtones, and the blues are highlights. So let's start with the shadows. We'll just click on the red circle, and then come down here where it says color and click in that red box. Grab the dropper tool, just click, and then drag it over to a dark spot in the new background. So we want to find a new shadow color. So we're going to come over here to this corner and get this dark brown. And once you click there, it'll appear right next to the dropper. So just click on that circle, and that is now our new shadow color. So let's do the same for the mid-tone. Click on the green box, and we're just going to use one of these greens down here for our new mid-tone color. And then click on the blue circle, click in the blue box, and let's get a new highlight color. Just pick that one. Okay, and it's already blended much better. Looks like he's gonna sneak up on some aphids or something in stealth mode. But let's come down here to the blend modes, and you, know, you can try all of them. You know, every picture is gonna be different, so you never know what will work. I almost always end up using overlay or soft lights. In this case, I'm gonna use soft light. I just think it matches better. And so let's turn this layer off so you can see. How it already looks better. It's taken on the colors of the background and it already looks more like it belongs there. But you can refine that. Uh, you can play with the opacity if you want to. But what I find works best is coming right up here to the little bar of color and clicking on these dots and moving them around. So if you want more shadow, if you think it needs to be a little darker, you can just drag this middle one over. If you need more highlights, drag it over the other way. Drag it to the left. And I actually think this picture looks good with more highlights. I think it blends more. And if you want to refine something even further, just click anywhere on the line and make a new dot. And then you can just slide it around. You can add, add more highlight, or, yeah, more shadows here. Take shadows away. And you can add as many of these dots as you want and make it just blend as perfectly as you need to. All right. And that's pretty much how easy that is. I'm going to show you one more example. Oh, he's already up here. Let me get rid of him so I can show you how I got him. These are my lilacs. And I wanted to add that dragonfly. And let me show you where I got the dragonfly. Um, on the stock tab, if you don't have it out, just go to View, Studio, and down here, click Stock. Make sure it's checked. And then you can click over here and pick any one of these. I just Pixabay, type in what you want, and it'll pull up pictures. And I just went through all the dragonfly pictures, and I decided on this one. So you just click on it, drag it over, and drop it in. Now, I wanted it for a couple reasons. For one, it was the right the right size and the right, the right angle. And for two, I had that white background. Because it's so easy to get rid of white backgrounds. You just come up here to filter colors, and then down here to erase white paper, and it's gone. That easy, you don't have to fuss with any any of the tools over here or anything, it's just gone. So that's mostly why I picked it, but also because it worked with the picture. So just move them around, stick them up there. If you really want to get crazy, you can get the liquify tool and make these little legs bend around that flower so it looks like he's really sitting there. But not in this video. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do the same thing. He actually looks fine, I think, just the way he is. But 
I, I also think if you add just a little bit of the color from the background, even if it's just a little, it just looks more natural. So, because we're not going to add a lot, we're going to add a little. But let's do it the same way. Come down here, get the gradient map, attach it to our dragonfly, and then we're going to get our colors. Let's find our shadow. We're just going to get a dark purple for the shadow, mid tones. We'll just get a lighter purple. Mm, that's a good one. And then highlights, of course. Just something nice and bright. All right. Now let's change the blend mode. Now soft light works, overlay works, but in this case, I think screen works because the whole picture is really bright. And you never know, I took this on a rainy day. What's that? hiding behind my lilac bush with an umbrella to take this picture. But um, uh, I changed the, you need to change the opacity. There you go. And also, I wanted to add another dot here and just kind of up the shadows just a bit and lower the opacity. There. Now let me show you. Okay, so that's the before and that's the after. And it's just, it's not a lot, it's just subtle, but I think it just helps it blend more when it brings in the, when you bring in the colors from the background that you're trying to blend with. All right, and let me come back to this one. I wanted to show you some, some overlays. So come to, I'm going to go to file, place, and why does it do that? Show me all my documents. There we go. Uh, these soft colored ones, they're on my website and you can have them. The links will be in the description below. But I just wanted to pick one and put it on here because I think it just adds a nice little bit of color to this picture. I'm just going to make it an overlay and change the opacity a bit. So there's one more I wanted to show you. File, new place, and I called it Mini Lights because it's got a lot of lights. And this one, I want it to be bigger um, than the actual pitch. I need the lights to be bigger. I didn't like the way they looked when they were too small. So come to the blend mode and change it to screen. And then I'm going to zoom out for a minute. There we go. And then just change the opacity. And it makes it kind of look like, I don't know, fairy lights or fireflies or something off in the background and you can blur that too you can go to layer new live filter blur and oh gosh and blur and you can make it a little more blurry so it looks like it's more off in the background uh, so those are some of the overlays that I have that you can download so I hope you found something useful in this video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.